What's going on there guys, my name is Matt or Chewy as most of you will know me as and today I am going to be bringing you another prepared or P3D related video once again going in detail with the VRYR PMDG737 setup. Yesterday I covered the FMC setup in the aircraft itself and today I'm going to be quickly leading you through all of the configurations you need to do if you are using PFPX. So I've got the software open here, we've got a completely blank page at the second and let's get right into it. The first thing that you need to do is to click on the global uh, world icon here, go down to program options and then go to weights. The only thing that you need to change here is the adult weight which should be going in as 79 kilograms and also the children's weight and infant's weight should be at zero kilograms there. So just 79 in there and you can click OK. The next thing that we need to do is go into the aircraft manager then we need to go down to aircraft database and click new now we have this little arrow here so i go new from template that's the best thing to do and as you can see pfpx has a whole resource of different um, aircraft here from different manufacturers or different software developers the one that we're looking for for vryr or virtual ryanair is the pmdg boeing 737 800 ngx with winglets so let's click apply there and it will come up with to some people potentially a very scary screen full of lots of numbers and figures that you may not know too much about do not worry there's not too much to do here what we're going to do first of all so as you saw yesterday i had the livery created by gold star textures of ei exf so we will simply type that one in as if we were configuring this same aircraft so depending on the livery that you're using you need to put the registration of it in there don't worry about the tail number that's not important whatsoever the next thing that we need to be worrying about is the weights here. So the empty weight is not 42991, it's actually 41413. So let me enter that now, 41413 for the empty weight. The max zero fuel weight is 62686, 62686. The max takeoff weight for us, uh, VYRR, is 79243, so 79243. And that leaves the max ramp, it's already entered in for us here, at 79607. Going over to the max landing weight, that's 66361 for us. So we just need to add one on the end there, 66361. And then the passenger capacity or PAX capacity is 174. The cargo capacity for us is 7439. So let's enter that in, 7439. And there you go. You can see the fuel capacity now is 20,820, which is absolutely fine. Um, but we do need to change that very slightly. It will be 20,891. So there are all the weights completed for the aircraft. The next thing that we need to go is to go right down to the bottom here. And this is specifically for users who are going to be using the Top Cat performance module, which I personally highly recommend using if you are going to be flying a lot. It certainly helped me out. So if you click on the edit icon here, you will see a list once again of different aircraft. The one that we're going to be looking for is this one here, the Boeing 737-800. If you select that and then come down to the bottom here, you'll, three, you'll see sorry, three check boxes. And we want to confirm all of these checks, which is allowed assumed flex takeoff, allow derated takeoff, and to allow a combination of both of these elements. So you simply apply that. And then that will close. So now the top cap performance module is completely set up and ready to go. If you become just slightly back up the page, you'll see the cruise and cost index. This is for the default speed schedule and also the diversion speed schedule. We want to enter in six here. That is always the cost index that we have for Ryanair. So six is going to be the number in both of those boxes. We're pretty much there now, so the only thing that we need to do is switch over to the second tab here, which is the Equipment and Configurations module section. Having a look at the category here, we want to change that away from S and actually switch it as S. Unfortunately, that isn't an option. For some reason, I don't know if it's just my PFPX or whether that's a common thing, but unfortunately, S isn't an option. With that being said, just on the spot here, I leave it at medium. If I'm wrong, I do apologize, but I will leave it on M just for now. For the equipment section here, we get rid of all of this stuff. And what we need to type in is S-D-G-I-R-W-Y. All of this information can be found on the website, guys. So don't worry if you do get lost with it. But you can just follow along with me if not. Instead of the transponder on L, we actually want to go down to mode S here. And the ADS capability, we can stick on B1. That's absolutely fine here. 
The final thing in this section is the FFA equip code, which is actually going to be as L, which is down here. So we can just select that and click apply and that should be absolutely fine i don't think i've missed anything out on first glance hopefully i haven't knowing me i have so i do apologize just leave a comment if you do see anything that i've missed and i'll definitely make sure to go over it anyway moving on what we need to now move down to is the pbn here and i will enter in these numbers so we're going a1 sorry a1 b1 c1 d1 and then finally it will be s2 is the final section there for the nav i believe we can stay exactly the same as we are let me just double check with the website yep so we don't need to change anything in nav whatsoever for com we can put tcas in that section there for the rvr we need to stick that at 200 and then the opr is the website address of virtual rhino or vryr so it's going to be underscore i don't think it'll let me do that so it'll be vryr dot eu and that can be entered in there and there we go guys pretty much everything is done now as far as i'm aware hopefully as i've said i haven't missed anything all you need to do then is save the information and just save the aircraft and then as you can see we've got a whole new aircraft here ei exf there's the first aircraft that i set up for a previous livery they're basically exactly the same configuration but i just wanted to do one fresh here to show you so then if we click apply on that and say, for example, we wanted to select a new flight, you can see here that we've already got the registration tail number um, or the registration of the aircraft and the livery selected for us. So we can just quickly switch between what aircraft we want and you can have it there for you all. Anyway, guys, I hope that's been useful for you. Please leave a comment in the section below if you did enjoy it and any feedback would be much appreciated. I am new to doing these prepared videos and new to giving these tutorials, so I am bound to make mistakes somewhere. So uh, please write some constructive criticism if need be. Um, if not, come back soon again. I'll be doing some more configurations and giving some flights on my channel as well and we'll get some aircraft in the air and show off what prepared is capable of. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.